Hi there, this is Carla from Brink, and today I wanted to give you a little tour of our AI solutions for ESG. Brink builds specialized AI models and fine-tuned uh, tools for ESG and sustainability. Our tools are designed to enable ESG professionals and sustainability professionals to extract and analyze and interpret sustainability and ESG insights with higher accuracy and reliability compared to generalist AI tools. We actually use a combination of large language models um, such as GPT and LAMA together with our proprietary set of ESG and sustainability data to fine-tune this model further and make them really good at detecting, interpreting and analyzing ESG and sustainability insights from unstructured data sources, such as, for example, reports, PDFs, policies and so on. We also created a suite of tools that can be used and applied to several different use cases. These tools can be used, for example, to perform an analysis of your suppliers or to perform analysis of all of your companies in your portfolio uh, and also to go deeper into the specific ESG profile and performance of a specific company. They can also be used uh, to collect data for the purposes, for example, of ESG reporting. And so they have really a wide range of application and use cases, but they all use the same fundamental technology and AI models. Models. So the first tool I wanted to show you today is our ESG document chat. How does it work? Well, you can actually upload a new file to, to, the, to the tool or you can add a file from your file history. In this case, I will just add some files that I had already added to the platform in the past so I can reuse them. And then, um, of course, the, the files will process and they will show up in the tool in this interface like that. So you actually have your PDF here and then you can ask a question to your files and surface the relevant um, information. For example, I can ask if An Ankle, this company, contributes to any sustainable development goals and I can simply ask that question in the chat and the AI tool will generate an answer for me based on the inform information provided in both these documents. As you can see now, the answer is being generated. And what um, should happen is that it also should generate together with the answer uh, specific sources, uh, references in the exact documents where my information is actually stored. So I can go back and double check this information. If relevant, I can use this as evidence, for example, for my ESG reports or other work that might require auditing. And so it actually requires that you provide references to the specific passages in the document where the information is stored. Of course, uh, this tool is very good for kind of broad free research on a specific document, but in many instances you might already have a pre-set a list of questions that you want to ask to your documents or maybe to multiple documents. Um, in that case, what I would recommend using is actually, is actually a, an even more powerful tool, which is our ESG questionnaire assistant. This tool is designed to enable you to create different um, ESG questionnaires and then run them against uh, your company documents. To create a new questionnaire, simply click on create a new questionnaire and you can name it. For example, you can name it inclusion and diversity questionnaire 2023. And then you can copy paste um, your questions if you already have them. Otherwise, you can simply type them out and the tool will uh, automatically recognize that each of these lines are different questions and kind of split them. Then just hit save. And then if you want to run it, so screen a specific company against this questionnaire, which is now saved and we can reuse multiple times as a template. Uh, I just run the questionnaire. And again, as done before, I can upload different files or select them from my file history. And now the questionnaire is running um, and it's screening information across all of the documents I provided. Okay, now my questionnaire has finished running. The process can take a few minutes, depending on how long the questionnaire is, how many documents it should analyze, and I can check them. As with the other tool, I can check the exact sources in the document. Even more powerful, it provides me with the exact passage in the document that kind of provides uh, reference to this information which is generated here. I, I can also actually edit this if I want. So I could edit and for example, delete a paragraph. So this way it, I have much more flexibility and control. What I can also do if I need to regenerate this questionnaire, I can, or certain questions, for example, say I'm not satisfied with this answer. I can lock all of the other questions and simply regenerate this one. And the other ones will not be regenerated which is very handy if you just want to regenerate one question, but not all of them. Finally, I can, of course, also export my questionnaires in Excel uh, SX format or in CSV, and I can also add more files to the assessment or to the questionnaire. 
Okay, now actually the final tool that I wanted to show you, it's our good governance cleaner. Again, as with the other tools, you can upload uh, some files. And then what this will do, uh, as you can see, um, it um, analyzes your document against different broader topics, such as human rights, fair competition, taxation, bribery, bribe solic solicitation and extortion. And then it assesses them based on six different um, criteria. These are actually taken from the criteria of the minimum safeguards, which are part of the EU taxonomy, that is uh, the European framework for the classification of sustainable economic activities and this is the social and um, governance part which is based on actually several other international frameworks and standards for social and governance again this is a slightly more complex assessment and it can take a few minutes but as you can see um, the first uh, topic human rights has already been assessed um, and so I can see whether my the documents I provided uh, make sure that these uh, criteria are completely satisfied partially satisfied or not satisfied. And to see exactly what is that uh, is causing the assessment to be completely satisfied, partially satisfied or not satisfied, I simply have to click here and I will find all the different criteria that make up for the broader embed criteria under human rights. And again, as for the all of the other tools, I will have a generated answer from my document. I will also have the sources and the reference directly from my documents. And I will also be able to check this for all of the different criteria that I have here. Okay, so that was the end of my demo. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. You can also find more information about our products and our AI models on our website and on our knowledge base.